today I want to thank the sponsor of today's video being Grill Blazers, guys. And check out this grill gun. Seriously, look at this. I'm a freaking flamethrower. So the grill gun is the most powerful propane torch on the market. We're talking 400,000 BTUs and a temperature of 3,600 degrees. With the grill gun, you'll actually be able to get your barbecue going and your charcoal lit in just a matter of seconds. Look at that, like it's literally almost ready to rock. But the grill gun is not just good for lighting fires and being awesome. You can also use it to sear that perfect steak as it has a clean burn technology, leaving absolutely zero taste on your food. I personally love my grill gun. Grill Blazers also has the sous vide gun as well. Of course, you can hook your grill gun up to either a 20 pound propane tank like I use, or you can use a little mobile one pound canister. All the products also have a built in anti flare up safety system to prevent any kind of injury and in accidents. So you can have a lot of fun without having to worry about you burning your eyebrows or your house down. So whether you're looking to up your cooking game by searing steaks, getting your grill going faster, or you need a gift for that man in your life, definitely grab yourself a Grill Blazers grill gun today. So check out the Grill Blazers website today by clicking that link down below and using that code JOEL10 to save 10% off your order today. Hey everyone, Joel Lance here. Today we are in San Angelo, Texas. Yes, San Angelo here at Fatty's Grill taking on their burger challenge. So this is a big, big, big burger challenge that actually I found out because you guys sent it to me. So thank you very much, I appreciate that. So the challenge itself consists of their five pound burger. It's a four pound patty plus a pound of bacon, plus all the cheese, plus queso, plus a big bun. So the burger itself is actually like six-ish, maybe even a little bit more, we'll say six pounds. Then you have the uh, veggies, which are on the side, but they are required. And then you have their side of fojos, uh, which is basically like a potato round, which is battered and fried. I'm um, kind of like a potato chip or potato wedge. I guess these fojos used to be like a, called like a rojo. It was like a big kind of San Angelo thing. So it's kind of like a signature, so you have a pound of that. So overall, we'll probably have like seven, seven and a half, maybe a little bit more pounds of food. Um, if you have one hour to complete the challenge, get it free. If you eat it in 30 minutes, you get $100. So that's definitely what we're gonna try. And if you fail, the meal 60 bucks. So anyway, let's head on in and see what we can do. The challenge is undefeated. There has been about uh, 15 to 20 attempts. Every, the closest anybody has gotten is about halfway. So let's have some fun with these food. Let's go eat. Hi everyone, update. So uh, we are Facebook Live, so thank you for everybody for this because we got a lot of support. Uh, if I can do it in under 15 minutes, we will get a $150. So that's pretty cool. I really appreciate that. So thanks for the love, everybody. Um, I'm probably going to start with maybe some of the veggies here. And then I have a big ketchup plate, and then we're gonna tackle this big burger, um, which has been cooling off for a while, uh, as the patty was very, very, very hot. But at that, I guess I'm ready to go. You let me know when the press play. Go ahead. How I start? With, start with some, some pickles. All right, we'll start with the health. So at the uh, everybody, try to put this here. Let's see it. How we can start it? We'll say the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. All right. Here we go. Veggies first. He said he got to be healthy. Feel like I need to put some rocky music on. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. Still hot. Yes. Yeah. Definitely making light work of this first quarter. I don't think y'all can see how it only is harder from here though. Thick this patty is from there. 
Nothing spicy in the burger, Melinda. He's got a cut on the finger, and uh, he was just asking for a pair of gloves. He don't want to get no food in this cut on his finger. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here in San Angelo, Texas at Fatty's Grill, taking on their, yes, famous viral burger challenge. And again, thank you to everybody who sent this to me because that is how, well, I came to find the challenge. I also want to give a huge thanks to everybody on the live stream. It was because of you we were able to, uh, I guess, actually negotiate or, you know, was given a little bit more of an incentive to try to crush this challenge. Whereas if we did it in the 15 minutes, we would get $150 versus the standard 130 minutes. But I will say this burger challenge was very, very large. Very, very large, in fact. I would say, honey, I would say we're about almost halfway there on the patty wise. You have to touch the Fojo's, but he's demolishing this burger so far. So the burger was advertised at about like five-ish pounds, but I would say the actual burger itself, in my opinion, was at least six, and then the pound of uh, potatoes. So definitely overall, we had like a seven pound challenge. I don't think there was any way personally this was less than seven pounds, and when I got into it, it was very, very large. He hasn't started on the bread yet. I'm sure he's got a strategy to this. So like I said, definitely a very large challenge that was definitely pushing me. I found this uh, beef patty, which was supposed to be four or about four pounds, they said. Um, it was absolutely giant, very, very huge. All of everything was huge. And uh, like I said, this was really, really difficult. It was really pushing me to try to eat this quickly. In regards to the food, everything was good and was made fresh. And I want to give a huge thank you to all the staff. The staff and the owner, Joe, were just super uh, friendly, really hospitable, and definitely helped make the experience fun. We got blessed that he's in the town and he's seen our challenge, so I'm glad he came to do it. Yeah, so there's a lot of beef. Ooh. There's a lot of natural commentary in this video though, so I'll pretty much leave you to it. That was uh, kind of all the background information I wanted to share. Again, huge thanks to all the staff, they were very, very friendly. And uh, now let's try to get back to this burger challenge, which is definitely kicking my butt. So with that, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. They're cheering you on. He said, go, 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 go. Justin, I agree with you. I think so too. That beef patty is almost gone. Almost gone. Ooh. We're about, about five minutes in? Yes, sir. Just approaching five minutes in. Yeah, that is what. This is a giant patty, everybody. Woo. Massive. Dude is a machine. Yeah. Under <laughs> under 15 minutes, uh, 150 bucks, and then a free burger. The meal is free. Under 30 minutes, 100 bucks, and then uh, he's got a whole hour to complete the whole thing. But we're six minutes in. Yeah, we're six minutes in, and he's demolishing it. <laughs> Pay for his gas to come do it, I guess. <laughs> I know it's a pleasure to have him here. I want everybody, uh, all 189 viewers right now, please look up his YouTube page. Give him a like. If you want, subscribe. Go check out some of his other, his other pages. We got plenty of girls on here asking if you want dessert. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I almost got him with that one. <laughs> Yeah. I said make it tiny as your dessert. <laughs> oh yeah. That meat is just about gone. And that was a thick, thick fatty. Oh yeah, hey, it's going to the photo potatoes. So now that that meat patty is pretty much gone, how was the flavor? Very good. How was it for time? Uh, the meat. About eight minutes. Yeah, 20 seconds away from eight minutes. All together, the it's about four four pounds of beef, probably a pound on the bread patty, and then a pound of rojo potatoes, fojo potatoes. I'm sorry. All together, you're looking at five and a half, six pounds plus plus of potatoes. Oh yeah. yeah. We're, we're almost down to just bread left here. Yeah. Ooh. Yes, Alexandra, we've had about, I would say another 10 or 15 people try it. And we've had families eat it. The only, the only one I've had completed was a family of four that even ate the whole thing. The rest of the families and friends, I've seen a table of six or eight friends come eat and take some to go. Could somebody give me another Diet Coke, please? Uh, give me a fresh Diet Coke. No ice, please. No ice. Okay. All right, guys, we are like nine and a bit minutes in. Got to done this bread. This is definitely the thicker part. This is pretty moist. So uh, let's, uh, let's get this done. Let's try for 15 minutes. Good so far, but no shortage of food. Okay. Yeah, Jetson, I think that'd be a good name. The Joe Hansen Burger, or even the Hansen Burger. Something like that. He's gonna get to name it. Justin, we get the buns made here at the local bakery, Los Giles Bakery up at Armstrong. It's like a bolillo bun. It's a sweet bread bun. It's a very good bread, very good bun. What do you think about the bun? It's big. It's big. <laughs> They said, Welcome to San Angelo, Joe. <laughs> We're just almost about 11 minutes in. I'm amazed right now, y'all. I, I mean, it's hard to believe, and I'm, I'm in front of him watching them. Yes, Nancy, they got good tortillas, homemade donuts, burritos, you name it. Los Dallas Bakery, y'all give them a like and, a, and go check them out if you're ever in town. Remember, y'all go watch this guy. If y'all like this eating video, watch some more of his videos on YouTube. Joe Hansen, and uh, give him a like, a share, a follow. Smash that subscribe button. Smash it. Oh my God.
Yeah, he did. He earned that 11 minute mark. Started chopping hard. this thing, hit it hard, try to get that extra 50 bucks, which we did today, which was awesome. Our uh, burger was very, very good. They got like a burger juice, the burger sauce they put on it, which is very, very flavorful. The patty was good, just absolutely massive. That was the biggest four pound patty I've ever seen in my life. That thing was a brick. It's literally like, that was, that was, that was big. That was quite a bit of bacon, lots of cheese, that's for sure. Lots and lots of cheese. Um, but yeah, the pochos were good. Like I said, really interesting. I guess it's kind of a big kind of San Angelo thing. Basically, again, the potato, which is battered, fried, yeah. with a bit of seasoning on it. Again, like compared to kind of like yeah. a uh, like a potato wedge. Um, although, of course, it's a round. It makes sense why I call the Rojo or Fojo here at you know Fatties. Um, but that's about that. That was uh, like I said, that was a hell of a challenge. The bun was pretty. It was good bun. Well, that was a lot of bun. That was a <laughs> bun. I'll put it that way. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, everybody. So with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, hit that like button. Smash that subscribe. Smash that, yeah, smash that like button. Guys, appreciate your subscriptions. Hit that subscribe button. The channel's grown because of you guys. It means a lot. It's absolutely free. Really appreciate that. Um, so that, everybody, until next time, of course, stay happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. That's about that. We do get named burger, so I'll uh, update you with that there. And that was a big, that was a, hell, that was a Texas size burger challenge. So. We yeah, definitely had to work to get under 15 minutes. That was a big one. But with that, everybody, thank you so much. Appreciate it. And uh, of course, till next time, have a little bit. Awesome. Everybody on the live stream, thank you so much. Oh, man, I just ended it when you oh, did that. Oh, that's okay. Sorry. No, no worries. I'll Alrighty one, and here still in San Angelo, here kind of by the water. So they have this like river walk, kind of waterfront all throughout it. Very, very beautiful. Um, absolutely stunning. Um, they've, like it's very, very well kept, obviously. 
Um, there's some pretty crazy looking houses and stuff over there, I guess. But uh, I think this is technically called Santa Fe Park. So they have trails going through. Apparently there's like a bike race or uh, some kind of race happening. But they have this also lovely little bridge. So let's see what that looks like. So here we have this bridge. And it's definitely a lovely day, lovely, lovely evening. Overlooking the water. And look, you can actually kind of like walk down uh, to a little... I don't know what you call that, perch I'll call it, which looks really cool. And then over here, some more of the beautiful water, beautiful waterway. Got some squirrels down there as well. But yeah, definitely, uh, definitely a very pleasant and beautiful little spot. I really like this. And then I know this water, or river walk continues again like way down that way far you know, towards the downtown we're technically i think out of the downtown but i think that way is the more downtown and then there's obviously continues this way and again walking trails on either side and there's another bridge down there maybe i'll i got a few minutes maybe i'll go take a bit of a walk it's actually super nice along the water here this evening um it's like it's very warm day today it's like hot it's mid mid to high 90s but when that sun ducks away, it's very like cool. I'm not sure what's going on over here, but there's some big building. I hear people having fun, um, which looks really awesome. And yeah, just like a very pleasant evening. We got uh, some swans down there. This is so cool. And there's lots of sheep. I'm sure there's something about, you know, history. If somebody knows the history behind all these sheep, let me know. But like there's, well here like there's another one and they're all like decked out and decorated differently and i've seen them all over town so i'm sure there's something to do with sheep and i'm sure they mean something but yeah san angel you got you, you're pretty i heard one person said it was uh, uh one person told me that they consider san angel like a retirement community or a retirement place uh, i guess it's a population about a hundred thousand which is pretty sizable i thought it was a lot smaller when i came here last year However, again, I found out this year, it, it's, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not like it's large, it's not like it's really built up, but they do offer quite a bit. Honestly, it's not bad. They got, I think they got three Walmarts and a neighborhood Walmart or two. That, that's why I judge places by how many Walmarts they have the size of them. But um, yeah, it's cool. San Angelo, I like it. And here we have, and here we have two uh, kind of water fountain memorials in memory of Raymond Torres Mesa. I like this. Winners are not those who never fail, but those who never quit. There you go. There's some uh, motivational quote for you for the day. And here under the bridge, they have these kind of like bejeweled or bedazzled um, kind of old vehicles. Like that's a truck, which is pretty cool. And it goes like it wraps all the way around it. And then here we have a, a Beetle, like so Volkswagen Beetle, which is also really cool. Very, very like, I don't know. Well, the funny thing is, yeah, I think there's, yeah, there's a car body underneath it, but definitely uh, you wouldn't really be able to tell. It's called the Art Bug. Very beautiful. And they have another half car right there. It's kind of like the, the end of a vehicle, but pretty cool. They, they, like I said, they have these little seating areas. It's very well, uh, very pretty. It's very well man, man, uh, manicured and looked after. And I'm impressed. San Angelo. You got it going on. And this is the area that I was like, I didn't know what that building is uh, across the way where the kids or whatever are playing. Very beautiful, lots of fountains and stuff. Um, no clue what it is, but I'm sure these statues mean something. There is a, uh, there was a plaque near it. I just kind of run out of time. But yeah, very, like I said, very stunning. This is awesome. <laughs> 